Hi, my name is Taj. I'm 28 years old and I'm a youth worker living in North London. The youth work I do involves some detached youth work, which is going out and meeting people in the community where they kind of choose to spend their time. I run some youth clubs, especially transition groups, so year six and year seven aged young people where we think about moving to secondary school. And I also tutor young people in chemistry in their A-levels. Some of the things that I hope for the young people I work with is that they will have a new experience that's fun, but also an experience that will challenge them and help them grow. I see it as a community kind of action. I'm not saving the world, I'm just trying to help the world come together a little bit. I believe there is a huge need for youth work because in school, teachers are in control of students. At home, parents are in control of children. So there needs to be this space where adults and young people can come together and learn from each other and make the world a better place in a, in a small way or in a big way. When I'm being a youth worker, I see it bringing joy to myself, joy to other people. I see people being given new opportunities and growing in their lives. So I see a lot of positive things happening and I think that's why I know that being a youth worker is my vocation. Vocation is the sense that it's something you have to do with your life. It's the sense of calling, something you feel passionate about, something that you get life from and enjoy when you're doing it. And maybe you've been called by something bigger, something other than you to do that thing with your life. We're prepping for the Year 6 Club, which happens straight after school in about 35 minutes. We have like a bit of free time and then we have activities all together. We're thinking about being a good friend. A day like this is very hectic, but when it's finished and you've done a good job, it really feels like you've kind of um, spent the time well. Sometimes you get glimpses of what, of what it means to people. Um, if you stop and think about it, there's not a lot like this going on, so it makes you kind of feel like um, that thing you set out to do, fulfilling your vocation, it's all been worth it. Discovering your vocation, you might think that that is going to be a big lightning bolt moment. You know, one moment you don't know what you're doing and suddenly you, you hear something or are told something and your life changes. And for me, that wasn't the case. When I got to uni, I was doing science and I started to think, can I make a difference in the world with science? I started to realise that other people were better at chemistry and actually enjoyed it a lot more than I did. When I started discovering my vocation, I felt like I could contribute in a way that I never realised I could before. There's definitely a, a moment halfway through university when I kind of thought, youth work, this is really exciting. That process of discovering my vocation was thinking, what am I good at? How do I want to grow as a person? The opportunities around me and the people that I met giving me those chances, and ultimately what I enjoyed, because it's very hard to stick with something that you don't enjoy. For me, as a Christian, vocation is all about a call from God and becoming who you're supposed to be. Religion kind of creates the community in which I work, so it kind of brings people together who believe the same thing. In a more personal way, religion changes what I spend my time doing each day and, and how I do it. For people who don't believe in God, I would still encourage them to think about vocation because you don't have to believe in God to believe that there are bigger things out there. You know, there's a community that you can be connected to. There are feelings that are bigger than just here and now. Vocation is about all those things. It's about things that you really want to commit to and feel called to do. I would definitely say that a sense of vocation and what your vocation leads you to do changes. I like to think of it as vocation and who you are emerges as you live your life. So I think it's important for people to think about their vocation because I think people need to feel a sense of purpose in their life. It's about helping people realize that they can do something good with the time they've got and with the skills they have. I think it's really hard growing up, trying to work out who you are, what you're supposed to do when you're bombarded with other messages through the media, through your friends, from your parents, you know, telling you who you should be. I'd encourage you to keep seeing yourself as someone full of value, someone who's unique. If you're different, difference is good. Becoming yourself 
I think is less of a pressure than becoming like this celebrity or becoming like this footballer or becoming like your best friend. And so I hope that young people, when they think about who they are and, and who they want to be, are excited by that and don't feel a pressure and a kind of stress around that. Don't want anyone to feel down in the dumps because they're maybe comparing themselves to other people and say, oh, I'm not like this person or not like that person. You're not called to be like that other person, you're called to be you and that'll look different depending on who you are. Yeah.